Great. Well, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Anthony Farina from Couchbase. Uh, I lead our technology partnerships and solution partner uh, relationships at the company. We're happy to be here at uh, Red Hat Summit. Um, as some of you uh, noticed in the keynotes, uh, the day one keynotes, both from uh, some customer, joint customers like Amadeus, as well as some of the uh, OpenShift uh, team, we've demonstrated really some exciting innovation in the uh, OpenShift and Kubernetes ecosystem. Um, my colleague, Mike Wiederhold, who uh, manages the engineering team, will co-present with me, and we'll do, a, we'll do a demo and an explanation of what we've done with uh, operators in Kubernetes. But before we do that, I'll jump in just to provide a little bit of a level set of uh, Couchbase, who we are, why we exist, and why we're growing, and why our customers um, are really investing with us. Uh, we're a venture-backed private company, uh, really with a who's who list of investors and board members, um, including uh, May uh, Mayfield and Excel. Uh, one of our uh, board members is uh, Don Chamberlain, who really co-invented SQL at IBM. Uh, even Jeff Epstein, ex-CFO of Oracle, uh, is on our board. So we uh, are an enterprise uh, NoSQL data platform with a, uh, a tremendous uh, uh, growth curve ahead. Um, as illustrated by our customer deployment. So we're a horizontal data play. We have use cases that fit across different verticals. Um, and some of our customers are here, the, whether it's financial, uh, healthcare, travel, retail, e-commerce, a lot of use cases that we'd be happy to uh, uh, step through in more detail. But why is this happening? Why are customers really adopting Couchbase? Everyone talks about digital transformation. What are the pressures, uh, existential threats? for all of these enterprises to be more innovative, uh, respond with agility, um, and, and really uh, show value and customer loyalty with really differentiated offerings. And uh, the database is one of the key impediments. Uh, the traditional legacy relational databases have proven to be one of the uh, impediments for making these digital transformation projects successful, uh, which is why we've um, really had a lot of traction in the market. Um, OLTP-based and OLAP systems have their uh, limitations, specifically when it comes to uh, schema rigidity, flexibility, the, the ability to uh, deploy at pace and to really innovate. And what a lot of people are uh, doing is trying to layer in some point solutions to get you performance at scale, to give you uh, geo-replication, resiliency. So there's a lot of point solutions that come onto the market to address these things, adds complexity, adds cost. In Couchbase, we've created a, a data platform which we term the engagement database. The engagement database complements your OLTP and your OLAP investments, whether you have a, a Hadoop uh, data lake, we have connectivity. Uh, but this is really, as Amadeus illustrated yesterday in the uh, keynote, we play in um, uh, customer engagement applications, so interactions, mobile, IoT, likes, tweets, browse, Personalization at the edge is uh, what we define as an engagement, data, uh, uh, an engagement database use case. And to have an engagement database, it has to be cloud native, multi-cloud, portable with those applications. It has to be mobile first and really offline first. Even if you don't have connectivity, the app always has to work and be responsive. We have um, SQL for JSON, so we're both a key value and a document store. So we've got all the built-in uh, enterprise capabilities, and we're really built for performance at scale, which is really a, a, a unique differentiator for us. And uh, with all the security features that are expected in an enterprise data platform. Just to illustrate what we've built here, we're memory first. We have a list uh, and with a persistent uh, layer. We can scale horizontally. We're a scale-out distributed database. And the data platform, in addition to having replication and indexing capabilities, we've uh, iterated the platform to add new capabilities, mobile, analytics for complex query, uh, uh, query uh, for, for operational queries with, with Nickel, N1QL, our, our J, uh, SQL for JSON, and full text search, inverted index capabilities. So we can flatten the stack uh, with your deployments uh, and take out uh, a, a lot of significant uh, redundancy and, and cost and give you high performance at scale. Our, the customer problems that we typically solve, and we'd be happy to discuss at the, um, at the booth, are around three vectors. 
How do you improve customer experience? I gotta, I gotta roll out a new app. I gotta uh, change my e-commerce. I have to change how I engage my customers. Those are CMO, CDO, CIO. How do I use the data at the edge uh, for better monetization and customer loyalty? Faster time to market, typically a, a DBA or data governance or data modeling thing where the rigidity of a relational database is holding you back from innovating. So we, we address those use cases. And of course, in the IT layer, um, people that are struggling with Oracle ELAs or traditional database costs or you're scaling up Exadata or you have a, a kind of a lot of uh, technical debt uh, mainframe that you want to offload, those IT and, and cost reduction plays are a good fit for, for Couchbase. Uh, what did we announce this week? So we have a great relationship with Red Hat. What we announced uh, or, or Red Hat demonstrated in the keynote yesterday was our investment in the Couchbase autonomous operator uh, in Kubernetes. So we've extended those APIs and we're the first NoSQL player to really have uh, automated operations in, in Kubernetes on OpenShift. So no downtime, elastic scaling, and you can really run with confidence business critical applications on OpenShift across clouds. No vendor lock-in with geo-replication built in. Um, we do this based on how we're architected. If, for those that are technical in the audience that would like to learn more, we have a lot of isolation in the services. So we're a peer-to-peer -peer database. Each node can look the same as you scale out with index service, full text search, query analytics, etc. Or, as Mike will demonstrate, you can tune some of those uh, underlying services in a custom resource uh, definition uh, script, and you can optimize for cores, for memory, for disk, based on the application and the access patterns that you have. Uh, I'll turn it over to Mike here shortly, but um, our solution fundamentally solves some of these core problems. Geo-replication at scale with fast in-memory performance, centralized management, we're the easiest database to, to, uh, uh, to manage, especially with this autonomous operator, auto-provision, auto-recovery for uh, business uh, critical applications. And we do it with OpenShift across any public cloud. You can run Couchbase in any public cloud through the marketplace. We run on bare metal. You can do it in private cloud. So that's just a quick uh, summary on Couchbase. We'd be happy to discuss that with you further. Uh, for now, I'll turn it over to Mike Wiederhold, who uh, led our engineering effort on the autonomous operator. Yeah. Uh, so uh, an operator basically is something that allows us to encode uh, exactly what a human would do when they were managing a cluster uh, in Couchbase, um, but for all of that to happen automatically. And so what we're going to show you today is a, a demo of some of those things running. Um, and so today what that means is that you can, just based on filling out a simple configuration, you can automatically deploy a Couchbase cluster. Uh, and uh, you can also handle um, failure recoveries. So if you have nodes that go down, you can, uh, um, if it, ha it happens at 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, it'll just be taken care of automatically by the operator. So that's what we can do today. Uh, but tomorrow, we'll be able to do automatic upgrades, automated backup and restores. And we, our, our goal is to automate uh, every task uh, that can be, uh, or, or that a human would do when they're managing their clusters. And so if, uh, if you're running your operator in OpenShift, then uh, the first thing that you need to do is install your operator. So the, to, in order to install the Couchbase operator, we give you a simple YAML configuration file. Um, so I'm going to gloss over this really quickly, but the key thing is that basically you just want to pick the version of the operator that you're running, uh, which is this line here. And to install it in OpenShift, you just run a simple command that says create the operator. And this will install a custom resource which tells Kubernetes about uh, exactly how you define a Couchbase cluster and will install the software to manage your Couchbase clusters. And so if I jump over here to the OpenShift web console, we can now see that we have a deployment that's running the Couchbase operator. We put this in a deployment because if your operator ever crashes, you want it to come back up so that you, it, it can keep managing your clusters. Uh, so then, now that we have the operator installed, Kubernetes knows how to create and manage Couchbase clusters. Um, so what we want to do is create our first Couchbase cluster. Uh, so this is a simple configuration to create a three-node Couchbase cluster running all of the services that we supported in Couchbase 501. Um, and uh, the, I, the, the key things to note here is the size is three. Um, if you're familiar with any of the other um, uh, parameters that you can set in Couchbase. We set some of the memory quotas, uh, 
uh, we create one bucket. A bucket is, is uh, equal to a database in Couchbase. And so to load this up, uh, this is as simple as running uh, another command, which just says create the Couchbase cluster. And if I jump back over here after I do that to the uh, OpenShift uh, administration console, we can see our first pod has already come up. Uh, and I've created a route in advance so that we can get to the Couchbase UI. So this usually takes a second before the route will uh, recognize the pod. There we go. Um, and so I will just log in here, and then we will be able to see the cluster being built. And so we can see that uh, the first node in the cluster is already there, uh, and we should see another node come in momentarily. So we can see that it's already been created in the OpenShift cluster, or it's already be be being shown in the OpenShift console. And so the first node has come in, and we're going to have another one that comes in um, any second. And then once that last one comes in, uh, the uh, a couch, the operator will kick off rebalance operation, uh, which will distribute all of the data uh, across all the nodes. So, looks like my route went down. Okay, uh, I'm going to create a node port, or I'm sorry, a uh, Okay, so I just created a separate way to get into uh, the admin console here. But now you can see that the entire cluster um, is all rebalanced, and we have the one bucket that we created. So one of the really interesting things um, that the operator also takes care of is if you have a node crash. And so if I come back to the servers tab, and then I just go and I say I want to delete um, CB example 0002, uh, this would simulate a failure of a node. And so if I come back, you can already see that the node is down uh, in the Couchbase cluster. So we have our auto failover timeout set to 30 seconds. And so after 30 seconds, this node will be auto failed over. Uh, and what that means is that, so, so right now, a third of the data is actually unavailable in the cluster. But once the node is auto failed over, we have replicas on the other nodes. And so those replicas will be activated so your applications can continue to access the data. Once that happens, uh, we will add in another uh, Couchbase pod uh, and then we will rebalance all the data so that we get right back to the state that we want that we were expecting to be in. So we can see that the uh, the node has just been auto failed over, and we should see a, another node um, get added into the cluster any second. Okay, so we have our our new node which was just added here, and then we should see a rebalance operation kick off. Okay. All right. I just kicked that off myself there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so uh, those are the two main operations that we're able to do uh, with the Couchbase operator. Um, and uh, we also support other things such as auto scaling. So, if you want to scale up your cluster, it's as simple as coming back to this configuration, changing three to four, and that will automatically have the operator add a new node for you. Awesome. All right. Uh, thanks, Mike, and thanks for folks. Uh, if you want to learn more about the Couchbase operator, we're in booth uh, 342 right behind you here. Um, I also want to call out some of the uh, resources that are available. Uh, we did post at uh, KubeCon uh, a nice blog post on how to use the operator uh, for Kubernetes. Uh, we are in uh, technical preview and in beta in collaboration with Red Hat. So some of our customers are experimenting with the operator. And uh, you can hit that link to, uh, to learn more. Uh, there's also a, a Red Hat technical implementation guide. 
uh, that will be available. We also are in the container uh, marketplace and a number of resources uh, for you to refer to. Um, in addition, our customers and a lot of our Red Hat joint customers um, are presenting at our Couchbase Connect events. We, uh, we have a technical workshop today in New York and our main show where um, uh, UPS, United Airlines, and a number of customers are describing how they use Couchbase. And Red Hat will be a platinum sponsor for ca future Couchbase events, including uh, coming up in London uh, next month and uh, our big show in Silicon Valley later in the fall. So we look forward to uh, engaging with you and uh, appreciate your time here. Thank you very much. Thank you.